the most important things in life must be done on purpose. You'll do the least important things, they will command you to do so. But if you do the big things, you'll do, it, do those big things on purpose. Somebody took a poll of preachers, listed the six, what they thought were the six quali uh, duties of the, pre of the pastor. And they said, now question one, what of these six is most important? And the most important the preachers voted for was prayer. The last thing they voted for in importance was administration. Second question was, what do you spend the most time on? List how many hours you spend a week on these six things. Number one was administration. Number six, or last, was prayer. And that's your problem. Hey, in case you would like to know it, there is a God in heaven. And in case you would like to know it, He hears prayers. And in case you would like to know it, He answers prayers. And in case you would like to know it, the most important thing in your life as a man of God is your prayer time. Average preacher in this room spends most of your time doing things not even mentioned in this Bible. The Bible doesn't say anything about conducting funerals. Now, I do it. Not many of my associate pastor conducts most of them. Bible says nothing about conducting weddings. Bible says nothing about pastoral visits to your people. And yet the average preacher here spends most of your time doing what the Bible says nothing about, like playing God. But anyway, uh, now, if you came to my office today, if you sat down at my desk, if you could find the desk during this week, you sit down at my desk, I could ask you to turn around, look right behind my desk, and you'll find a big box of letters that high. What's in there? Unanswered mail. Don't you answer your mail? No. I don't it. Why? Because it's not listed that high on my priorities. Don't misunderstand me. I send out letters every day. But I'm talking about there literally hundreds of letters I've never answered. Why? Because I am going to get my prayer time in. And I am going to get my Bible study time in. And I'm going to get my soul winning time in. And I'm going to get my preaching time in. I'm trying to tell you, men, the great, the great secret to success in any area is what you leave undone. Joshua left nothing undone of all the Lord commanded. There may have been a few suggestions he left undone. There may have been a few preferences left undone, but Joshua said, if all the things I leave undone, I'm not going to leave undone what God commanded me to do. Joshua couldn't do it all. He had to leave something undone. He looked at all he had to do, checked to see if there were commandments, did everything commanded, left no commandments undone, then did all he could do of the rest and left the rest undone. 